before we edit the anchor points, we need to have our shapes uh, in front of the next pencil sketch, just to the right hand side, so we can edit them accurately. Now at the moment, you'll notice, if you've been eagle eyed, that our selected object is in the sky layer. And we need to also unlock the tree trunk shape to be able to move it across to the other sketch as well. So at this point, you can expand open the sky parent layer. And you'll notice that we have here a padlock adjacent to the thing called path, which is our tree trunk. You can left click on that to unlock it. And then underneath at the moment is the actual green area of the shape. So with the selection tool active, you'll be able to click and hold down the left mouse button and drag across those two shapes to select them and then hover over any part of them and click and drag and move across until really the, the tree trunk is the thing that is the best uh, element to get lined up with a pencil sketch for now. I'll hold down the space bar to get the hand tool and then click and drag the mouse so that we can see both of those nice and clearly. And I'll pick up the zoom tool to zoom into that region and then just make sure that all of the anchor points for the green shape in there are visible. I'll go up to the layers panel and then collapse the sky layer. Both of those shapes are still selected. So we can then hover over the selection indicator, which at the moment is a sort of a black color. You can click and hold down the left mouse button on that square, drag it upwards to make it live in the hill layer. I'm then going to go up to select and choose deselect, switch back to my selection tool and then go back and left click on the tree trunk. And I'm going to actually put that behind the other shapes. So I'm going to go up to object, arrange and choose send backward. It'll put it behind the green shapes, but you only need to see the bottom of the tree trunk really for now. And then I'm going to lock that object as well. So I'll go up to object, lock, selection. So to edit these shapes, I would suggest that we go into a different view. That's under view and we can choose outline. And what that will do is it will keep the pencil sketch visible, but it will turn our shapes into a wireframe. This makes it ideal for this kind of scenario. Now in order to edit those anchor points, we need to switch to the direct selection tool, which is the second tool down in the tools panel and left click on that one. You'll then have to hover over a part of the path. So it could either be the segment, like the straight lines here, or on one of the corners, which will activate an anchor point. So if I left click here, now you'll notice that it's telling me, hovering over there, that I have an anchor active with a tiny little um, magenta text in there. Notice that when I hover my cursor away, that is now solid orange. It replicates the color of the layer called hill. Notice the other anchor points are empty. They are inactive, in other words. What this then requires us to do is hover your cursor over the anchor point, click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and drag it to roughly match the pencil sketch. Let go when you're done. And then I'll head to the next anchor point, hover over, left click to make it active and then click and drag and move it into position. And each time left click and then click and drag to move the anchor point. Left click and click and drag. I think you're getting the idea of this now. Each time we want to move one of these, again, just to save uh, any kind of uh, problems, it's always to left click on the anchor point, let go of the mouse and then click and drag to reposition it. Until we've worked all the way around the pencil sketch tree, we have to roughly match them and that should be absolutely fine. When you're done, of course, click away from your object, go back to your selection tool and then you can go to view and you can choose preview. And you'll notice now that our three original separate triangles merged together in the previous video. I've now been combined together as one shape and now match the pencil sketch.